Astronomers have seen the aftermath of spectacular stellar explosions known as supernova before, but until now, no one has witnessed a star dying in real time. While looking at another object in the spiral galaxy NGC 2770, using NASA's orbiting Swift telescope, Carnegie Princeton Fellows Alicia Soderberg and Ido Berger detected an extremely luminous blast of X-rays released by a supernova explosion. Supernova are the explosions of massive stars, stars more than eight times the mass of the Sun, whose cores run out of nuclear fuel and collapse in on themselves to form a neutron star or a black hole. In the process, they launch a powerful shock wave that blows up the star. Until now, observations of these objects have been in the aftermath, typically several days after the initial explosion, not the first instance of death. Astrophysicists have predicted nearly four decades ago that the first sign of a supernova would be an X-ray blast, but none had been witnessed before Soderbergh's and Berger's swift observations. We were in the right place at the right time with the right telescope on January 9th and witnessed history, remarked Soderbergh. We were looking at another older supernova in the galaxy when the one now known as SN2008 went off. We would have missed it if it weren't for Swiss real-time capabilities, wide field of view, and numerous instruments. Using the most powerful radio, optical, and x-ray telescopes on the ground and in space, we were able to observe the evolution of the explosion right from the start, said Berger. This eventually confirmed that the big x-ray blast marked the birth of a supernova. The potential of finding a large number of supernova at the, at the time of the explosion will open up avenues of research that previously seemed nearly impossible. In particular, the determination of the exact explosion time will allow searches for neutrino and gravitational wave bursts that are predicted to accompany the collapse of the stellar core and the birth of the neutron star.